Good morning, my friends. Today is Saturday, September 23rd. It's Saturday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time. It's day 14 of Beform, so we're two weeks into the 13 weeks. Uh, today's the memorial of St. Pius de Pietrocina, or otherwise known as Padre Pio. I've had the opportunity to visit uh, uh, the place where he ministered to, and it looks like he's just there asleep in a glass coffin. Uh, in 1918, he received the stigmata, which means the wounds of Christ in his hands and his, uh, his feet, especially in the hands. And for the next 50 years, uh, pilgrims flocked to him in San Giovanni Rotondo in, in Italy. Uh, they went to confession to him, and uh, he so united himself to Jesus. Um, not only had the stigmata, he could bilocate. There are um, there's evidence that he was in two places at the exact same time, uh, eyewitnesses. He had the ability to read souls. People would go to confession to him and he would say, well, what about this? And like, Ugh. Uh, he also had the ability to hear and understand languages that he, that he never studied. I've been praying for that, that gift of bilocation, but it hasn't come yet. I'd love to be able to do twice as much uh, as I can. There's always more need than I'm able to. He, wa he died in 1968 and was canonized a saint in 2002. So we pray for his intercession. If you ever get to Italy, I highly recommend going to San Giovanni Rotondo and visiting the place where he ministered to and, and uh, where people flocked to him to attend his masses or go to confession. I'd like to focus on one line in the old in the first reading from saint paul to timothy he's uh he's encouraging uh the beloved and he says i want you to keep the commandment without stain or reproach until the appearance of our lord jesus christ keep the commandment in other words follow god's ways without stain or reproach until jesus christ appears in other words stay awake and uh Take your spiritual life seriously. We need saints in this world. And it reminded me of something that I read from G.K. Chesterton, who said uh, something to this effect. I'm paraphrasing, but this is what he meant. He said, uh, a saint is a medicine or antidote uh, to what's going on in the world. Um, he's mistaken often by the people. Uh, but I love this. He says, a generation is converted by the saint who contradicts it the most. I'll say that again. A generation is converted by the saint who contradicts it the most. So sometimes saints are kind of brushed off as you're crazy, you're old fashioned, uh, you're, you know, you're out of touch. But often these are the people so close to Jesus, like a Padre Pio, like a, a Mother Teresa, like John Paul II. Um, they contradicted the world so much that it, it woke people up to say, why would Mother Teresa care for these people who nobody else wants to care for? Why would Padre Pio sit in a confessional for 10, 12, 14 hours a day listening to the sins of the people? You know, why would John Paul II travel around the world um, when he could just be comfortable in his in his place in Rome. These people contradicted the, gen the generation and converted many, many lives. And so I remember uh, Bishop Barron telling us in seminary something that really struck me. He said, if everybody speaks kindly of you, you're not preaching the gospel. And that struck me to the heart because I, I tend to be a people pleaser, uh, but it really made me realize that the gospel is contradictory to the world. It's gonna hurt. There's gonna be people who don't like you when you follow Christ. Um, but that doesn't mean we should stop. It doesn't mean that we should go with the flow. It doesn't mean that we should um, just kind of get in the raft and float along with everybody else. A generation is converted by the saint who contradicts it the most. So let that be our prayer today. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son Jesus, for Padre Pio, for Mother Teresa, St. John Paul II, all the saints who have gone before us who have contradicted the world. 
Help us to stand up for the truth. Help us to follow you and help us to yeah, be contradictory signs, if that's what the world needs, to, to holiness, to take our spiritual life seriously. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families, Buen Camino, and God bless you.